Hey, hey developers. Today we're gonna talk about something I really enjoy and that is Visual Studio Code themes. I'm gonna talk about one theme in particular that I have gotten literally hundreds of questions on, something that I think a lot of people enjoy. And one of the themes I think is probably one of the best themes out there for Visual Studio Code. So make sure you guys watch all the way to the end to find out what it is. So let's begin. Oh yeah, a quick word. My name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also a big fan of JavaScript, of Vue.js in particular. If you guys are interested in those things, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you're interested in. Also leave a comment to tell me what theme that you guys like the best. You know, let me know if you think there's a Visual Studio Code theme that's even better than this. And then while you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe button and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So here is my Visual Studio Code installation. So I have been doing YouTube for a number of years now and I've been using this theme probably for over a year. And the number one question I get almost in every single video I put out when I have this theme turned on is, is how are you, what theme are you using? Why is the text glowing? What is this? It's almost every single time I put out a video with this theme on, people are always asking about it and amazed by it. And I've actually, in the last six months, I've heard a lot more people talking about this theme. A lot of people are asking like where to get it. A lot of people are recommending it to other people. Actually, I just listened to a podcast the other day and people were talking about this theme. So I thought I would talk about it since they just did an update. And you guys probably already know it's Synthwave 84. So this is the theme that I use in my Visual Studio Code. It's one that, like I said, I think a lot of people look at it and they're like, wow, how do you have glowing text? That's kind of the number one question I hear. And it's just part of this theme. And originally it was actually a little bit harder to install and now it's super simple to install. So I'm gonna show you how to install it and we'll take a look at it, what it looks like after it's installed. So make sure you obviously have the latest version of Visual Studio Code installed and then go to the extensions button just search for Synthwave 84 and it'll pop up by Rob Owen. It has over 140,000 downloads, so it's pretty popular. And it has five stars. And the easiest thing to do is click the install button and it goes ahead and installs. Now, if you do this, um, do this the first time, you may notice you click on an app and you don't see any of the glowing. So if you don't read the instructions correctly, you are never going to get it going correctly. So first it says select theme and choose select uh, Synthwave 84. I don't know why it popped up there, but it's selected, but still nothing is glowing. So to get it actually to glowing in the past, you had to like edit some files and do like enable special JavaScript, but they made it really easy. You want to do control, control shift P if you're on a Windows PC. On a Mac, you have to hit shift I think command P is it? And then once you do that, you'll look for Synthwave 84 enable neon dreams and hit that. It's gonna ask you to restart the editor. Editor is gonna restart and boom. Now you have this glowing text in here, which is pretty cool. So it kind of pops a little bit more. Um, I really enjoy it. So there it is. You might get this message here that your code installation appears to be correct. Please reinstall. I would go ahead and ignore that. You may see unsupported at the top of Visual Studio Code, but you can just ignore that. That's not a big deal. Everything works as it is intended and you get the cool glowing text. And I just think it looks really nice. It has definitely that Synth 84 uh, look and feel. Now you actually can change options in it. It gives you something um, Synth Wave brightness. So you can kind of add, the, add it to your settings JSON file. So if we go back into Visual Studio Code here and we open up our settings JSON file, I can just, uh, here's our default settings. So let's see here, here it is. So I don't know, I can just add it in here and pump up the, the brightness if I wanted to. And then it says to re-enable the Synthways native and enable it again. So it'll restart your editor. So once it's restarted, you might get that crap message. Don't worry about that. And okay, so it opened up. Maybe it's a little bit brighter. I don't know. It's it, That's pretty much all it says to do is to change it and then re-enable enable Neon Dreams. You can also disable it in your settings JSON by putting SynthWave84 disable JSON. So that's pretty much it. 
Uh, yeah, so this is a really cool theme. Um, I know I've used a few others. I mean, I guess if I would have to pick a second one uh, for color themes, the I've used Dracula a few times. I've used red. So let's take a look at a few others. I used to use like the light default theme for a while. I don't know. It it's, looks okay. Oops. Looks okay, but it's not something that I love. Let's see what else is there in your color themes. Space Max, Abyss. I know some people that really like the some of the other darker themes, like Dracula. Kind of like Dracula. It's kind of neat. Let's see here. Also, open recent. Oops. Open. Let's go back to preferences, color themes. So there's some winters coming. I kept this theme for quite a while. I got a, quite a bit of questions on this because it's kind of a nice blue theme on here. But I, I think at the end of the day, really, the one I like the most is, let me go back to color themes, is Synthwave 84, this one right here. And then now I have to re-enable the Neon Dreams and restart it again. And now I get the brighter, the bright text, the glowing text, which is pretty cool. So uh, maybe you guys disagree with me. What do you think the your favorite Visual Studio Code theme is. Um, I really love to hear it and uh, I like to hear it. Also, just for, just because we're here, one other thing is I do have a theme that adds its ligatures and has a few font styles that I like. So blah, it adds this to it. And I believe this is a setting too. If I look in my settings, I think it's called, yeah, editor font ligatures. I just put that true. And then for my font itself, I use Fira code, F-I-F-I-R-A coda code. I think that that's the the kind of the the font that I use as well. So if you guys are interested in those two, uh, I should do it. And also I should probably add a, a uses at some point to maybe to show you guys all my settings that I do. Like I use Vim for my Visual Studio Code because I think it's just a little easier to move around. I, uh, that's like the basic biggest extension that I use. And then of course for Vue, I use some Vue extensions for snippets. I use Sarah Drasner's like pack for Vue that has a bunch of really cool things in it. So that helps me out. But uh, going back to the theme, yeah, I really like Synthwave before. I'd love to hear what you guys think is your favorite theme. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I think I'll end the, the video here. Thanks.